Hey everyone, it's Simon from Powerplay Games, hope you are well, and this Boogie On Down music is for the amazing game called Pivot, which is available on Steam and I'm sure other platforms right now for PC, it's not many other consoles we can get at the moment, um, but this would work quite well on the console, I think. Uh, so the idea of this, do you remember like the wire game, where you'd have to like try and thread something around a wire and if you touched it, it could zzz, then you'd be like, ow. This is like the digital music bouncy around version of that. And it's got loads and loads and loads of different modes. And I've just reset my progress on Voyage because I was trying to do like a show of it and I was dying so often that it was a bit pointless. But as you can see, like I'm going around on a wire collecting these little power-ups. And it's the ball that I'm swinging around with my left analog stick or the shoulder buttons. Both work. And I, that can't hit anything, so you need to pivot round your central point to make sure you don't. I love the music in this mode. So good. And each time you upgrade, like a few points, the line gets more and more complex with more things to play with. So what seems like it's relatively simple now will certainly not stay that way for long. <laughs> and so there's always like a little bit of a learning point to understand exactly what you're going to get thrown at next. And that's just for this mode. Um, so we're on like the simple mode. As you can see it's starting to mix and match things in. And there's several ways to get around each obstacle, to be fair, uh, which I also like. Because I've got my ball behind me at the moment. I'm pivoting behind myself. I'm a ballerina. I love that riff. Well, I could be ahead of myself doing the same thing. Ah! I thought it was going to end then. Ah! There we go. And so what that does is it puts you back on the point of the four. So I'm not even sure I'm doing this like right as a swing around, but it seems to be working at the moment. <laughs> Who knows? I prefer it if I'm trading myself. Thing behind me. There we go. Ah, oh, I thought I'd make it. Now, because I'm recording, the controls are a little bit more difficult to do with because I've got the tiniest bit of lag. Uh, but it's still running beautifully at 60 frames per second uh, on my ageing computer. Zig zag that baby. And essentially it's to get to the end point as little death as possible <laughs> for this specific thing, anyway. I wonder. Oh, these ones are already coming in the house. We'll go back again. how it's like learning you and then throwing it at you. 
I really like that as a concept and as a game design mechanic. Keeps you on your toes and constantly evolving and changing as well. So anyway, when I next die, I shall move out into a different mode and show you what else they do with them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't even get to the end of the sentence. So you've got Voyage, Endless just keeps you going until uh, it's like randomly generated each time, whereas Voyage is a bit more structured in what you've got. Expert Voyage and Expert Endless you unlock um, by completing and reaching certain things. Uh, Berserk is like the absolutely nuts version of stuff. Random Endless. Oh there you go, sorry, so that's randomly generated. Random Expert Endless. Uh, and then you've got Looper, uh, which essentially is like dealing with waves of things coming at you from an entirely different angle. <laughs> Help! <laughs> and so this is very much Dodgeroo. And you've got to do that. To try and keep going. Let's try that again. Oh, right You'll be swearing quite a lot on this game, but it's all good. And if you... Did you see there where I stopped? Like, the loop goes? So you've got to be able to, like... Really go for it when you can. Ah, I need that. Dang it. So it just puts a little... Literally, a spin on thing. <laughs> A pun, I didn't even realise I was going to say it beforehand. But yeah, this game is just joyous. Um, I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, I'm actually terrible at it. I'm a bit better when it's like actually not... Um, I don't believe the faster it gets, can you get to 100? Okay. It's just such a simple... Dexterity challenge. I'm not dexterous at the best of times. Oh, speed, speed. Ah! So yeah, I'd put this in amongst... Um... Oh, what's the game? I've completely forgotten it. It's a two-worded game and it's a little guy that keeps jumping around in a circle with loads and loads of different things. I've got it on my channel as well, that's going to really annoy me. Um, when I kick up my PS4 later, I'll get the name and I'll stick it in the description. If you like that game, you'll love this. If you love this, you'll like that game as well. Um, great for high scoring. Um, and great for multiplayer stuff as well, so uh, you can face off against each other. So if I go multiplayer on Voyage... Let's try it. How bad can this be? There we go. So, you get stats and things like that at the same time. So, can I do two player on my own? No. <laughs> Is the answer. <laughs> but at least you can see like what it's like and what you can get out of it. So up to four players locally, great stuff. Can't beat that. So uh, thank you very much for watching here on High Plane Games. If you liked this video, please do give it a like and consider subscribing and um, that jazz. Everyone else on YouTube likes to throw out at you. Um, my new website will be officially not too soon over on highplanegames.com. There's a little bit of a preview up there at the moment just while we sort it out. Um, it should be going in October. So you guys will take care. See you soon. Bye.